you were sick this week. Uh, well, we heard you were sick. Uh, well, how bad was it? Uh, I mean, I, I, th I don't think it was uh, that bad. I mean, I think one day or two I was feeling really bad. I had a little bit of fever, but now I'm feeling much better. I think yesterday and today I'm feeling much better. And I think just yes, Noah is sick for two weeks already. So, I'll, oh, I mean, I don't know how he's feeling, but... And yeah. do you feel it like it had a bad uh, effect on your gameplay or maybe? Uh, I mean, I... there is just a lot of noise in, in comms, right? from mm -hmm. like caffeine and, and stuff but i think today we just played bad i don't think it's because of sickness or anything <laughs> well when you say you played bad well i saw the match obviously but it feel you sl you slipped you know not that like it was uncontrollable do you feel you had something you could do to prevent it i think we made many mistakes i think uh started from draft i think uh We didn't do a proper comp, and I think, uh, yeah, I feel like people were not really focused in this game. We were just, like, not playing the game at all. So, yeah, I think an enemy just snowballed. Yeah, well, happens, I guess. And uh, last split, you were often saying that your games, like, always had to be this spectacular and close. At the end, you were always managing to clutch it. Um, Do you feel you had maybe a window to clutch it in this game? No, I think no. in this game, uh, I mean, we could have won if we were a better team, but uh, I don't think I don't think we were on the same page today, and it was very disgusting to be to, like to to play, honestly. Yeah, it was sad to be honest because no. against G2 we saw like I'd say a pixel perfect Fnatic. A, a lot of people said it was kind of a fluke, but honestly, as a G2 fan, it felt like we had no fucking chance. <laughs> you were just destroying us. So what happened between last game against G2 and this game today? What was the difference? Mm, I don't know. I feel like people in my team, I included myself, we were like a bit more relaxed and maybe not really try hard. And it just felt like that, you know. And uh, yeah, I, I can see too. I feel like everyone was feeling it and we played all very good mechanically. And uh, today's game, we lost early game and we made really weird decisions in game that made us like fall even more behind. And then it was just uncontrollable because we were not even outscaling them or anything so yeah well de defeat is always hard to take in i guess so well it's fine <laughs> you you will win next time i i'm sure about it but what i want to understand is what change between winter and spring between this game uh, against g2 and this game today like is there um some ceiling that you broke Last time? Um, I mean, I don't know. I think it just depends on on us, right? And I feel like some days, for some reason, we are just not uh, on point and we are just having a bad game. And it was like, it feels like no one is like really playing the game. Today, it was that day, I guess. And uh, I hope like towards the next uh, best of threes, we are fixing that SAP because We really need to be more disciplined, and no matter who are we playing against, we should be bringing always the same gameplay. So you're confident about the fact that you can play together in, as you said, in best of three uh, in the upcoming weeks? Yeah, for sure. For sure, okay. So because, you know, there is always this uh, rumor about, uh, for instance, humanoid saying, uh, oh, sometimes it plays, sometimes it doesn't play, and it feels like it's reflected in your... In the whole team today, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I see. The, I see a kind of a smile on your face. So I guess you hear that a lot, and that maybe your it bothers you. No, I mean I think like uh, it's not like one day he doesn't want to play or anything. He can have bad games too, and yeah, I think in the today i mean marek was not playing the best i think we were in general not playing good as a team right not uh not to target one player i think it was like more like a team thing no oh, of course and well looking at this week games because obviously it was a defeat but you're still in the top standings of well of the lec in the top mm -hmm. and 
looking at other teams in the top, it feels like most of them are very inconsistent. Inconsistent, sorry. Do you have an explanation to this? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to say with this format, not gonna lie, with being like best of ones, it's like anyone can take a game from anyone. So maybe there is like that, that's the, the inconsistent that maybe some teams are bringing. But I think towards the best of threes, best of fives, the, be the best teams are gonna show up. Yeah, obviously. And with the new, new format, you know, the, the, the draft that are pre-recorded now, you have the time to prepare a game plan, to, 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 I don't know, set up some strategies. How do you feel about it? You talked a bit on Twitter, I, uh, I understood. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I feel like it lose, you lose a bit the, the spiciness that the, you get when you are drafting life and then you just have to pick a champ and like enemies are like, oh, they didn't, I didn't expect this pick and then in one minute you are on the rift and you are playing also the level ones are different. I personally don't like it since it's not going to be on international stage and even not in playoffs, so I'm not a big fan of it, yeah. Yeah, you know, and do you feel it's unfair, maybe? I mean, for sure. I feel like maybe for the spectator it's good because the games are faster, but I feel like for the players and teams, uh, my opinion is way worse since you are kind of getting used to something that you are not going to be using later on. And also it's like not, it's like you are obligated to do it, right? Because if you have time to talk about the game, and then you know enemy will do it you have to do it even though you know you won't be able to do it in the future like uh, international events or like even in playoffs so yeah. so it I builds bad habits that's what you're saying yeah, yeah. Okay. i think i think it does yeah okay well to close up this interview let's go with a fun question uh, let's say you can pick any champ you want to play on stage any champion your mates, your coach can't say anything. The comp can, the comp can even be built around you. What do you pick? Mm. And fuck the meta. <laughs> I'm going Talon jungle. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I'm just having fun with it in solo, you know, lately. So uh, with Probably success. Talon jungle. Yeah, I'm winning. Even though I think my champ is not good. I'm just winning. <laughs> Maybe and because I'm jumping over the walls. You know what what they say about it? It's not about the car. It's about the person who drives it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Would you would you have uh, any piece of advice to give to the aspirant jungler that are struggling in solo queue right now? Yeah, I mean, I think jungle role is kind of OP, but at the same time, really stressful. So you really have to be a very patient person and uh, yeah, try to focus on yourself a lot and if you are good and you are doing things right i think eventually you will climb so that that's my tip probably yeah well that's you will climb if you're good thanks a lot red Ark. i won't take much of your time uh good luck for the rest of the split and i hope that we, you so i much. will see you another time